Welcome guys to my 3 proc Magicka Nightbird PvP gank build for the Sanitite. I swapped some sets around since last patch. First change is the monster set with the new one called Kargeda. It drops in the new dungeon Coral Airy instead of Selene. On dealing damage with a heavy attack create a 6 meter whirlwind that slowly moves forward for 8 seconds, growing by 3 meters every 3 seconds. Enemies within the whirlwind take shock damage and physical damage every second. The tooltip is way lower than Celine, but it has no delay. 1.3 seconds until Celine hits is way too long, easy avoidable. I have tested the other new monster set, Lady Malikta. Same stuff here, higher tooltip, but a 1 second delay. Marzalok is possible too, but deals definitely less damage because it cannot crit. Alternative, instead of two monster set pieces, go for one set piece with penetration and one mythic item like Spalder of Ruin, Harpoon of Sweden killed or even Markun. Killed would be probably the best choice with the extra crit damage and the crit rate. Second set, Deadlands Assassin. If we compare it with the Ashen Grip, which I've used last patch, Slightly higher tooltip now, thanks to the hybrid meta. As main damage set, what else? Still Kalurun's legacy, highest tooltip, almost no delay, a must have for every melee gang build. Alternative instead of Kalurun, you could use Red Mountain. Similar damage, but again with a delayed damage poke. Same stuff counts for Flame Blossom. Closer look to the full buff stats. We are at 6k spell damage. Almost 40% spare crit, 125% crit damage, which is the crit damage cap, and over 14k penetration. Max Magica with Ghastly Eyeball, over 33k. I'm on 6 light armor pieces and 1 medium armor. Ignore the sturdy piece, I'm out of stones. Full Divines is best in slot, of course. Full Max Magica glyphs, full infuse spare damage. With Deadlands Assassin's Mace, Mainhand and Offhand, Nirna and Sharp, one Flame and one Poison Enchant, and Backbar, just a random stuff. I always use a critical repost in defending with the Berserk Glyph. Quick look on the skills front bar Camouflage Hunter for Minor Berserk and Major Prophecy now. We don't need Inner Light anymore. Then Barb Trap, just slotted for the Slayer Passive. 3% extra spare damage, concede weapon now spammable, merciless resolve, shadow disguise and soul harvest, back bar, shoot offering, that's my flex spot, you can put mark if you want for major breach, or even the vamp toggle, simming frenzy, then rapid region, chant acceleration, siphoning attacks, shadow image, and as defensive ultimate, Knight's Champion. Ray still Khajiit, done most fine too here. As Mundus the Shadow for extra crit damage, Ghastly Eyeball as buff food. You can also put the, the green Max Magicka food if you want. Vamp stage 2 for the Vamp passives, strikes from the Shadow, which gives another 300 spell damage if you leave sneak. Potions I mainly use the detection potions with sorcery, magicka and stealth detection. Blue CPs, mastered arms, daddy aim, fighting finesse, backstabber, red CP, celebrity, thoughtless vitality, rejuvenation and slippery. Always the same here. Now I will leave you with some gameplay footage with all the sets that I've shown, even the alternative sets. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao! By myself, trying to think of ways to you. Your voice stuck in my brain. We never got to see it through. And I know I feel more pain if we're speaking truth. Cause when the daylight comes, I still lose. Comes, I still lose. So when I feel it again, I just don't know. And I'm hoping I'll find a way to let go. 
Just don't know 